In this video, I'm going to go through all the critical effects. This is the captain. Brace for impact. Just to recap on the attack steps. So the first thing is to roll dice. And modify dice. Then spend accuracies. Then spends defense tokens. The attacker then chooses an available critical effect and then applies damage. Remember, all ships and bomber squadrons come with this critical effect, the standard critical effect. And the best way to remember what it does is to treat it as a free upgrade card for all your ships, like this. Now remember, no matter how many critical effect cards that you have equipped to a ship, you can only choose to use one. Unless, of course, you have fire control teams or some other card that lets you do otherwise. So to demonstrate uh, the critical effects, we're going to simulate the attack done by an MC-75 with Commander Sato, attacking at long range at a Victory Star Destroyer with uh, a squadron nearby that's friendly. It's always going to roll a double black, a double on the red, and a blue critical. And the Victory Star Destroyer is always going to use its brace and redirect. Okay, so the first critical effect is the standard critical effect, which is the first damage card that's dealt to the ship is dealt face up instead of face down. Alright, so in this attack step, we've got five damage that's braced down to three and redirected, so we're pushing one to the front and one to the side. Alright, that means there's one left to go onto the hull. So normally this goes onto the hull, but because we're using the critical effect, we're going to flip it over and then resolve the card straight away, which is Injured Crew. Choose and discard one of your defense tokens, then flip this card face down. Okay, and we'll choose that one. Okay, next up is XX9 Turbo Lasers. So um, much like the standard critical effect, instead of flipping the first card uh, face up, you flip the first two cards face up. And like before too, it's not dependent on the dice color, so it just needs any dice to have the critical icon. All right, so to simulate in this attack, we've got seven damage. So brace down to four, redirect two to the shields like before. Okay, and that means two goes onto the hull. So the first one has to be turn face up, injured crew. All right, like before, so we're gonna get rid of that. And the next one has to go down as well, but we flip it up because of XX9s, but we got a structural damage. Okay, so we resolve that one as well. All right, so when you choose to resolve this one, deal one face up damage card to the defender. Okay, so they've done their defense tokens. You straight away deal one face up and resolve it. So we've got a structural damage. Okay, so we resolve that. Now we apply the damage. So it's two, and then one goes to the hole, face down. Next up, assault concussion missiles. So each hole zone adjacent to the defending hole zone suffers one damage. All right, so boom and boom. All right, now we apply damage. So brace down to three. So the shield at the front takes one and then the hole takes two. I'll do another example because this uh, has implications if the ship doesn't have any shields as well. So in this example here, uh, the, the front and side hull zones have no shields and the other side has one. So you trigger assault concussion missiles the adjacent hull zones take one damage each, so one here. This one doesn't have any shields, so you apply one damage. All right, now we have three damage left that we need to apply. There's nothing to redirect to, so we simply put that onto the ship. All right, next is Wide Area Barrage, one of the new ones for Wave 7. So, if the defender is a ship, choose one other ship or squadron at close range of the defender. That ship or squadron suffers damage equal to half of the total number of black hits icons in your attack pool rounded up. All right, so here, all right, so they've chosen to brace and redirect as before. We've got one, two, three, four, five black hits. Uh, so half of that is three, sorry, well, half of that's two and a half, then you round up to three, and then we're going to do three damage to an enemy squadron or ship that's uh, in close range of the defender. So in this case, bye bye TIE Fighter. Now we apply damage, so this is 9 damage, brace down to 5, redirected, so first off one goes on here, and one goes on there, and then the ship itself takes 3 to the hull. 
Okay, next up is the first of the blue critical effects. So this is Ion Cannon Batteries. This comes in the core set. Choose and discard one command token from the defender. If the defender does not have any command tokens, the defending holds and loses one shield instead. Okay, so before applying damage, we apply the critical effect, which is get rid of the token. Uh, if it doesn't have a command token, then obviously we lose a shield, so let's do that. And we've braced this down to three, redirected one over here. All right, take, and then we take two more to the hull zone. All right, next up is Overload Pulse. Exhaust all of the defender's defense tokens. Now, these have already exhausted, so they don't exhaust again. We exhaust the last one, like that. And now we apply the damage. So it's, uh, we uh, brace and redirect. So brace five down to three. We take one of the shields there and redirect one to this side. And one face down on the hull zone. And uh, for those out there who are a bit new and wondering, no, this doesn't work with Avenger in the same shot because uh, you've selected the critical effect before you apply the damage. And the defender has already exhausted your defense tokens as well. However, if you're Avenger and you shoot afterwards, then it will totally apply. All right, next up, NK7 Ion Cannons. You may exhaust this card to force the defender to choose and discard one of his defense tokens. All right, so we choose this critical effect. They're forced to uh, discard one of these defense tokens. They'll probably discard the redirect. All right, now we apply damage as before. So one to the, sh one to the front and one to the side because we brace redirect. One left goes onto the hull. Okay, the next one is Dodonna's Pride, which is actually not an ion cannon upgrade. It's actually a title upgrade for the CR90, but it's still a blue critical effect. So, it's uh, cancel all attack dice and deal one face-up damage card to the defender. Okay, so it's an interesting one, this one, because uh, we'll say the CR90B is attacking here. It's rolled three criticals, all right. Now, the defender, being the VSD, has to decide uh, what defense token it's going to use, all right? Because in this case, if the VSD uses brace and redirect, expecting to brace three damage down to two, Right, and then redirect uh, the damage around the shields. The CR90B player would can go, go oh cool, I activate Dodonna's Pride and then do one face up damage instead. So he will cancel all the damage and do one face up damage instead, which is gonna be structural. All right, so that we resolve that immediately and put two on the ship. Or conversely, what could happen is, you, you can go, the VSD player might go, uh, all right, cool. I think he's going to use Dodonna's Pride, so I'm going to uh, not use any of my defense tokens. And this is when the CR90B player can go, yeah, psych, I'm not going to use my critical effect. Take three instead. And, they'll, and if he takes three, then that's instead one to the shield and then two face down. No, wait, I totally lied. Because I didn't use Dodonna's Pride, I would have used the standard critical effect instead. So it wouldn't be two face down. It'd be... To, be, the first one would be a face up, which is life support failure, discard all command tokens, blah blah blah, right? And then the next one would be face down. In most cases, though, the defender would use their defense tokens, right? And uh, this way, when you cancel your attack dice and use the Donner's Pride, right? It's it it's like a miniature combined effect between uh, APTs and Overload Pulse. Okay, next up is MS-1 Ion Cannons. This one no one ever uses. So, choose and exhaust one of the defender's upgrade cards. All right, so we trigger this effect. We're gonna exhaust their Intel officer, so it means they can't use it when they activate now. All right, now we apply the damage. So it's three damage, redirect, redirect. All right, and one face down. All right, the last blue critical effect, and probably everyone's favorite right now, the heavy ion emplacements. So, you may exhaust this card. If you do so, the defending hull zone and each adjacent hull zone loses one shield. All right, so we trigger this effect. The defending hull zone loses a shield, and then each adjacent one loses a shield. All right, now we have three damage we need to apply. We did use redirect, but there's no shields to redirect to now, so we simply take Three to the hole. Now 
Now just be careful when using this. This only works if the defender has shields. So in the example we have here now where the ship has no shields, you probably don't want to use this critical effect and you might want to use any other critical effect you may have equipped, such as the standard critical effect or something else. Okay, just a few caveats. Uh, the contained defense token seen there on the bottom right. Uh, some ships in the game have this token, so if they spend it during the defender's uh, defense token step, then what happens is they essentially uh, prevent the standard critical effect from being used. And uh, so what would happen is, instead of the uh, first damage card being face up, it will be face down instead. Now additionally, so some ships may have a dam damage control officer on board as well, so in this case it makes the def uh, contained defense token even better and will prevent any critical effect from being activated. Alright, I mentioned this before with fire control team, so this lets you activate one other critical effect in addition to your other one that you chose. So if you have two equipped to your ship, then you can essentially do both, such as NK-7 ion cannons here and assault proton torpedoes. Or you can choose between any, any of those two and the standard critical effect as well. Now keep in mind though, uh, for the upgrade card critical effects, you still need the color dice of the critical icon uh, to activate it if you choose to use it. All right, that's all the critical effects in Armada. I hope you guys found this helpful and hopefully it clears up some of the uh, new player confusion of, on how some of the critical effects work, such as like overload pulse and the timings and all that. All right, uh, let us know what you think and uh, yeah, subscribe to our Patreon and uh, this is Veteran Captain Ken signing out.